It's been a long time, Elizabeth. It's so good to join you here to today to talk about the suffrage movement. Yes, we have some great stories. About how hard we work to gain the right to vote. And the right to own property, have a bank account. The right to have custody of our own children if we got a divorce. To sit on a jury or run for political office. And our rights in court. Right! Remember that time I got arrested? Susie B., how could I forget? You voted illegally, then in court the judge would not even listen to you. He fined you $100 and you refused to pay. That was a lot of money, and I was tired of being pushed around my whole life. Susan, refresh my, refresh my memory. What was your childhood like? Well, my birthday is February 15, 1820, and I grew up with seven brothers and sisters, but only five of them lived to be adults. And I grew up as a Quaker, so that meant no toys, music, or games. I did grow, in, I did grow up loving to read, so much that my eye went crooked. And the more I read, the more I committed to become the women's rights and social change, including the abolition of slavery. But enough about me, Elizabeth. Yes, Susan. I was born in 1815 and grew up in a wealthy household, the daughter of a successful lawyer in upstate New York. The restrictive role of women in our society caused me to rebel from an early age. After graduating from Troy Female Seminary in 1832, I became active in temperance and anti-slavery causes, married prominent abolitionist and reformer Henry Stanton, and had seven children. Elizabeth, I was clearly better known at the time. Why are you called the mother of the suffrage movement and not me, Susan B. Anthony, who now graces the one dollar coin? Well, Susan, I organized the Seneca Falls Convention, and I wrote many of your best speeches. Oh, I remember. But we wrote those speeches together, and we were the best of friends. So, did you like my book, The Woman's Bible? Yes, I did. It was lovely, even though it was quite controversial. Imagine criticizing the King James translation of the Bible. Susan, I just felt like the translation of... The small part of the Bible that focuses on the woman was a bit biased. I believe that God created woman equal in power and glory to man. I agree. The book was very good. You know, Elizabeth, that I also wrote four books on the women's suffrage movement and all the things we did. Like all those times we went to Congress to protest and all the organizing and conventions... Elizabeth, what was your favorite event? That would have to be the Seneca Falls Convention, which was the first time I truly spoke out. Did you, your views get much support from men? My father was the only man who supported me and my beliefs. Elizabeth, do you remember our first natural, National Women's Rights Convention? Oh, you mean the one in Worcester that resolved to support equality for all without distinction of sex or color? I really liked that one. And Susan... Do you remember when we formed the National Women's Suffrage Association? That was really exciting. And then Wyoming, which was just a territory at the time, gave women the right to vote. I could have just packed up and moved to Wyoming. Then Victoria Woodhull was the first woman to speak before a committee of Congress. And then she tried to run for president of the United States. She couldn't, of course. At the time. Women weren't allowed to run for political office back then. Then I got arrested for illegal voting, which wasn't a good thing, but I was able to give many speeches about, is it illegal for a citizen of the U.S. to vote? And my trial was the greatest judicial outrage ever recorded, but it all eventually led to the Anthony Amendment, named after me, but sadly it failed. Susan, who would have thought it would have taken 72 years from the time of the Seneca Falls Convention? For women to gain equal rights with men? It was all worth the hard work, work, don't you think, Elizabeth? Yes, it shows how two good friends, Susan B. Anthony and Elizabeth Caddy Stanton, working together and organizing others, helped to bring a much-needed social change to our country.